Good evening and welcome to Woogles Outdoor. We're doing a episode of Food in the Forest. So we burning. are heading up into the woods today to do a scavenger kind of thing for Food in the Forest. Uh, we're going to look around for plants, what we can eat, and even make teas out of to try to have a good day. That sun is so bright. So guys, it's really humid out here today and it's one of the things I want to emphasize to you the most is when you're out hiking in the woods and it's humid out, your body can't really uh, produce sweat like it normally would so it's harder to cool down that way. So one of the things I would suggest to you is actually take and uh, drink a lot of water and take as many breaks as you need to because truth be told, you're not out here to cover miles, you're out here to enjoy the woods. If you're out here to cover miles, you're in for the wrong reason. Let's head on to we can find some plants today. So, we're at the flat up here where I thought I'd find something. I've not found much of anything yet. I'm looking around at trees and vegetation. There's gotta be something up here we can eat or make something out of. All right, this right here is called a blackberry. Uh, this one's red, meaning it's not ripe. There's no more around this one, but if you remember the uh, type of plant it's growing off of, you can always find more. I cannot however see any more right now also golden rule to remember leaves the three stay away from me I'm not allergic but a lot of people are so we're gonna head downhill since there's a water growth this way that means more vegetation would be here and where there's vegetation there he is plants wait that's pretty much right pretty much it yeah, there's life vegetation vegetation let's get all scientific here hey, show them how good you are with carrying a blowgun BAM I'm that good. The bird man, he has sung. So we've been out here probably about 20, 30 minutes and I'm still not finding anything much. I found a couple blackberries, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something that's just gonna absolutely blow our minds that we can eat today. <clears throat> something that'll be great for this channel. But what I'm finding is this valley right here that we're gonna have to find out how to get around. I think we can go right down that way though. Neither one of us has been here before, but we we'll have to check it out. Fun trip. That's the best part about being in the woods, exploring. All right, Lewis, let's go. Like There's one, Not exactly sure. two down here, and then I see a couple sitting in a bush down here, and I'm hoping to see a black one. Let's move down here and see. We're following like an old creek that runs down. So there's a good vegetation life down here. Uh, I would like to find some blackberries. Those are definitely not ripe. No. It's still a little early in the year, but they should be ripe to the extent to where we can eat a couple at least. There's one under my foot right now. We'll find them. They're out here somewhere. Like this right here. Guys, this tree fell from a mudslide right here apparently from what we can tell. <clears throat> because the tree's uh, still green. On the end, it just crazy. Chris was giving us a comparison to how crazy it is. I mean, Birdman, my bad. <laughs> That's just incredible. Where are we at? Rebel Lane? Somewhere close there. We're at the backwaters, actually. Uh, I think that's where we're at. We gotta walk through this laurel thicket, which honestly, I think we're coming in at a different way than when I've ever came into this place. Uh, like we, like I said, we came into this blindly. We came in at a different uh, direction than what I'm used to coming in. But there's definitely a stream of water right there, and that is a good sign for any kind of vegetation to grow that would be edible. So let's head down. What's driving you crazy? Nettles. They hurt so bad. They make you itch oh all over. Oh my god. Why don't we try to make our way down to the valley down there? You can. Dude. We're humans. We could end up against one of those. Dude. We could totally use those to make a shelter with. Or baffling for a shelter. That'd be awesome. My legs itch so bad right now. Nettles. Nettles everywhere. Guys, this is zoomed in pretty far. I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm just 
Let's see if I can steady that. He thinks we don't see him, but he's all the way over there. There's no way we can even get to him. Run! Run! <laughs> She's she was pretty. She was. It's fresh. Decently fresh. Damn. Hold it still. I believe that's a possum. I believe. Seems to be. I'm not exactly sure. That's cool. There's bones here everywhere. Something's got it. Yep. Here we are. We've reached the creek that flows into the river. And I found a few edibles, but just not what I'm looking for. There's nothing that's just the glory hole, and I'm looking for the glory hole. Let's see if I'm. So, we're down here at the waters. This is. There's a TV right there. Why is there a TV? Whatever. Anyways, we're down here at the waters. There's a bunch of cattails right there. We can eat cattail roots, but it's not what I'm looking for. I just want to find the glory hole. So, what I've got is my blowgun, and I'm going to see if I see any fish right here. Um, Perhaps I'll find a good bluegill swimming around here and I can eat it. Get it. I'd like to shoot a bluegill. But we're at the the river. Uh, let's walk upstream a little bit and see if there's any bluegill or anything else we can eat. We're just going to stay out here until the food comes to us, right? That's what we're going to do. We're just going to stay out here until it comes to us. On actual plans, we're going to head up the hill here and try to make it back out. We're not on the trail at all. We tried to stay off the trail the entire day and uh, see what we can do. There's been a lot of stuff we could have done, but I'm just looking for that jackpot. I know there's something along the way here that I'm gonna find that I'm just gonna be like, yes, it's worth waiting for. I don't know whether it's gonna be me eating Chris later. I have no nutritional value. This might be a gore video. Like what are those called? Uh, whenever, you know what I'm talking about. Like where you kill people and or snuff films. Mm -hmm. This might be a snuff film. Watch out to all you viewers out there. Mm, snuff film alert. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see what we can do. Lose it. So this is a yep. walnut, and there's a walnut tree here, but it's so close to the road it doesn't count. So let's uh, go back up into the woods and see if we can find something else here. It's gotta be something. All right. So we've got these little clovers here that I found, and unfortunately we can't find anything else today. We found blackberries, uh, walnuts. It seems like there's some other stuff we found too. We even found some pine, but just out of everything we found. I didn't find the gold pot like I wanted to find. So what we're going to do is we're going to settle this with a sad note and I'm going to pick some white clovers and we're going to make a tea and uh, we'll get to you guys when we start making that tea. So I found a blackberry and uh, a couple of them actually. So we've already eaten a couple. I'm going to eat this one right here. Tastes alright. I can't wait until they get fully ripe. i make a good cobbler out of them. Until then we got a few of these and I'm looking for stuff to start a fire with now. So I'm going to try to pick up some of this uh, dry grass stuff enough to make a uh, bird's nest out of and then I'm gonna use my flint and steel because I didn't bring a lighter with me and then we'll start the fire and make a tea Uh, so I've got my hatchet, I've got some wood split up here, and I've kind of got the bio light going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take, where do we put those at? I got them. Uh, let me see them here. 
and I'm just going to take and simply drop them in my water. That's it. And I've got a whole handful for maybe a cup of water in there. Uh, two cups, actually. And I'm going to wait until that bio light catches up, and I'm going to put it on there. And we'll go from there. Let's add a couple more smaller sticks to that. Hatchet. Man's best friend, I'm telling you. So uh, we got the bio light going, and we got it on there, and we're just waiting for it to boil. Now with white clover, you're just going to want it to get a little boil to it. And you'll take a stick, like a chopstick or something that you carve up, just kind of mix it around in there. Once it gets a good flavor, you'll take it off, and then you'll proceed to drink it. But until then, I want to thank you guys for joining us with this episode of Wiggles Outdoors. This has been a crazy adventure today. We've been all over the woods, all over the mountains, and uh, we settled with some white clover, some walnuts, some pine sapling, and uh, that's about it. But until then, uh, check us with the next episode. Like, subscribe, and comment.